This November, Bitcoin Cash is having another scheduled hard fork upgrade. There is some debate in the community on why some of these changes are needed. One of these changes is canonical transaction ordering. Canonical ordering is a change in the way that transactions are ordered in each block. The current ordering is topological. The most important difference to know between the two is that topological can have many different valid orderings, while canonical has only one valid way of ordering transactions in a block. This will become important in just a second. The purpose of changing to canonical ordering is that it allows for much bigger blocks on the network than current ordering. It primarily helps on two fronts, improve block propagation and block validation. Block propagation is how well nodes on the network share new blocks on the blockchain. See, all the nodes on the network are all sending and receiving transactions from one another at a fairly constant rate. These transactions are stored in each node's mempool, where they wait for a miner to place them in a block. Roughly every 10 minutes, a miner takes all the transactions, places them in a block, and sends it to all the other nodes to be validated. This is a huge spike of information every 10 minutes, and is what causes most of the bandwidth bottlenecks. The thing is that every node already has those transactions that are needed in the mempool, and the block is just sending them all a second time in one huge burst. To improve this, you can instead send a block with a series of shorter IDs that correspond to each transaction, so that each node can pull the matching transaction data from the mempool and construct a block themselves. This is the basic premise between things like XThin, Compact, and Graphene blocks. Graphene is by far the most efficient method of the three, and what the primary use case is for canonical ordering. Graphene does not use any short IDs, but instead uses a set of Bloom filters to check what transactions are in each block. The issue is that the Bloom filters only allow us to know what transactions go into our block. It doesn't let us know what order, so we have to get that information separately. This ordering information accounts for around 85% of the block data in a Graphene block. The key here is that if there is only one possible way we can order these transactions, we don't need that bulky ordering data. If the transactions are in a canonical order, we only need to know what transactions are in the block. Canonical ordering allows graphing blocks to be around seven times more efficient. This isn't one of those changes where you might get 10 or 20% increased performance. We're talking about 700% for large blocks. Canonical ordering also allows for parallel processing. Large blocks require a lot of processing to validate. The issue here is that CPU clock speed isn't improving. We've about hit the physical limitations. So instead, CPU manufacturers are adding more cores to each CPU. These cores work in parallel, dividing the processing between each other. Topological ordering doesn't lend itself to being processed in parallel very well. Due to its simplicity, canonical ordering does this much better and scales better with technology over time. So canonical ordering 1 improves graphene blocks by around 700%. 2 scales much better with technology, and because it's much simpler than topological ordering, it 3 lowers block creation time by around 70%, and 4 eliminates the chance of selfish mining. The benefits of canonical ordering won't really be obvious to most until there's significant transaction volume on the network. So there are some in the community who believe that we should wait until this is needed to make a change. But transaction ordering is a protocol level change. It requires things like block explorers, node implementations, and anything that has to do with processing a full block to make a few changes to accommodate it. Each one of these has a cost. It's better to make these changes now while the network is small and the cost is low. If we wait until the change is needed, the perceived cost may outweigh the benefits. Any base layer changes need to happen now, and the protocol needs to be locked down, just as soon as a few fixes are made. So I hope that cleared up a little bit about canonical ordering, the benefits, and kind of why it's being implemented this November. Um, like I said, a lot of the protocol level stuff is happening now, so you're kind of having a bunch of changes that are batched together. If you have any other questions on any of the other changes being made, uh, you can almost also comment that. I'll try to make a video on that in the future. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Don underscore Wonton. I'm starting a podcast soon that will be available on my new website, decentralizedthought.com. Thank you.